Hello and welcome to the Side One YouTube channel. My name is Ray, and in this video, we're unboxing another meter. Uh, this time, it's the B side meter. Uh, this one is a small, um, I suppose you'd call it a tong tester. Uh, it was inexpensive on Banggood. It listed as twenty-seven sixty-six Australian dollars plus four dollars sixty shipping. It cost me nearly thirty-five dollars by the time it got here, or nearly thirty-four dollars by the time it got here. So let's have a look and see what we've got. So in a plastic bag, we've got the meter itself. A nice little cover over it. In the box we also have a USB cable, this is a USB type A to USB C, I believe it's for charging. There's a quality control certificate, it's English on one side and Chinese on the other. We've got some test probes and a manual. This manual is English on one side and on the other side it's in Chinese. So I don't read Chinese so let's have a look at the English side. So this is a U-type multimeter, multi-mode U-type multimeter. It's uh, got printing on here that says it's uh, category 3 to 600 volts. And looking at the probe, there's a cover here that says category 3, 600 volt. And this cover will come off. And here, it's hard to see it. It's just um, embossed into it. It says category 2 at 600 volt, which makes sense have a look at the cables they're not too bad I've seen worse there's a little bit of a silicon feel to it but mostly plastic So I do have some other probes that I've used in the past. These ones are a thousand volt category three and I've removed the probe cover extensions, which probably drops it down to category two for a thousand volt. And inside the tips, it's actually got a plastic coating on it so that you can't make contact with the end if the probes are attached. I think from memory the screw on bits allowed for an alligator clip to be attached to it but I haven't seen those for a very long time. These I got for another meter when I broke the leads and leads are a wearing part if the cord pulls out treat it as broken. All right so let's have a look at the meter it's very compact as you can see, it's not very big at all. Uh, I do have another meter handy. I thought I had another meter handy. I seem to have put it somewhere else. No doubt I'll remember where I put it tomorrow. On the back side of this, we have a LED, so for illumination, and there's a screw access point. So I have a big screwdriver handy, so let's open that up. And that reveals a USB port. So this is for charging, and that's why we have a USB cable. There is a red light when charging in there, and a green light when it's fully charged. not hard to do that up okay so to turn it on you press the red button 
and hold that for a second and it turns on into auto if you put this near mains it's supposed to uh, start beeping once you push that button that doesn't appear to do much it is working in high so it's got a low and a high and in low it doesn't appear to do a lot so the non-contact voltage probe does work now the live setting if you put the probe the red probe near a live terminal it will tell you it's live I haven't tested that feature must need actual contact with the copper I don't have anything that's that exposed that I can test that with we go back to auto it's supposed to be changed into different settings so I have a automatically so I have a 15 volt DC power supply running just nearby doesn't appear to do a lot that's DC amps AC amps and back into auto that's not pushed in far enough well that's continuity and 15 volt from my 15 volt power supply I have a 20 volt battery here and it's showing 20 volts so that appears to work I have some resistors here and these are 3k ohm resistors so that's that's not bad it's it's actually changing mode quite happily I'm surprised about that I will give this a test drive I think in a more industrial environment just to see how it goes I don't have anything that will draw significant current that I can use for the current testing uh, not on my bench anyway at the moment so we will have a, a closer look at that over the next week and I'll get back to you probably at the end of this video now the instructions are a little bit misleading it shows a capacitance here but nowhere else in the manual does it me mention capacitance at all so I'm thinking that that is really just a bit of a um, generic for some other meter it says the DC voltage range is 0.8 volts to three point nine nine volt in one range the next range is four volts to thirty nine point nine nine volts then forty volts to three hundred and ninety nine point nine volts and four hundred to six hundred and ten volts with varying resolutions AC voltage range you've got something similar uh, 0.8 volts AC to 3.99 volts then it's 4 volt to 39.99 volt then 40 volt to uh, 399.9 volts then 400 volts to 610 volts so it's got a fair range uh, it should suit most applications that I'm likely to deal with unless you're planning on playing with high voltage uh, it will handle um, 415 volt which is common in Australia for three-phase appliances uh, for domestic single-phase supply it's uh, 240 volt normally on its DC current uh, it'll handle 1.0 amp up to 100 amps 
it says at a 0.1 amp resolution so i'll give that a try i've got my uh, other meter i did a review on not all that long ago on uh, my uni t meter plant meter i'll compare it against that in the industrial setting ac current one amp up to 100 amp ac at 0.1 amp resolution resistance it lists five ranges from 5 ohm up to 40 mega ohm non-contact voltage doesn't give us how sensitive it is for either low mid-range or high I didn't see a mid-range when I was pushing the button only low and high when using the clamp you use this front one and in DC it will zero it and back into auto and the manual is pretty comprehensive on the how how it does work I did try it with a capacitor just to see what would happen and it actually just measured the voltage initially at a volt must have had a residual charge on that capacitor and when I cleared the voltage off it by shorting that out it then proceeded to show me a re an increasing resistance which is indicative of a capacitor anyway so I'll do some more testing on this and get back to you okay so these are a couple of soft starters ABB brand and we'll give this meter a try I've switched this into AC amps and we push that up as far as we can and look I think it's pretty close there is a difference in phase amps and that is normal so I think that's working quite well on fairly large currents 40 odd this one here is at 45 47 48 I think it's reasonably close it's not too bad okay I'm in another board and I'm gonna give this one a quick check and see how we go so in this one I'm going to use the bottom button and this is low it'll tell me if there's voltage but only if the probes are all the way in and you can hear the beeping and yeah it's doing that if I switch it to high it is more sensitive and it's more sensitive on the left hand tip there now it's got one more feature and it's called live and if I take the red wire just the red wire and put it on to a live wire it beeps and shows high so that's that feature switch back into auto I'm going to connect this to earth and I happen to know there's plenty of framework around but I've connected it just going to ditch that cover <coughs> trying to find exposed earth that'll do and get onto the top of one of these breakers and it automatically switched to 238.7 volts which is about right and if I swap the short these two probes together it automatically switches to continuity so that's pretty cool 
I'm going to give this meter a few more tries. Um, and you can see the torch works. So, and we showed the amps working before. I didn't try DC amps. So this is DC amps, it's one press of the amps button and in theory I, this is showing 1.7 and 1.8 amps which is about what it would so 0.7 amps I'm not real convinced the DC amps are as much top but the AC amps appears to work the voltage contact works the single wire live contact works I'm actually impressed with that part and we know that switching between volts and resistance works so we'll have another look at it in time okay so my thoughts on this meter um, it's interesting I can see where it would be useful uh, it would prevent uh, inexperienced users from blowing it up uh, you can go straight from measuring a resistor to measuring a voltage without having to change any settings it will do it all by itself uh, it measured 50 amps AC without any hassle at all easy to do and the non-contact voltage appears to work and even testing with a probe worked quite well so yeah i'm impressed for 34 dollars australian delivered not a bad meter for a, a beginner uh, and potentially useful uh, in an industrial environment well that'll do for this video if you like these videos don't forget to click on like subscribe and ring that notification bell it's a form of uh, support that helps the channel a great deal and costs you absolutely nothing. If you'd like to support the channel further, you can join my patrons, uh, VIP Go Lucky, All Access, Jeff Jurd, and my builder patrons, El Morales45 and a Andrew Cardone and Havish, in helping to support the channel. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or drop into the Discord I'll leave a link in the description below and we'll see you in the next video.